This is um, an interesting question here about thymol. Um, it's from uh, Todd Prater. I think he's in, uh, I think it's North Central California, maybe Northern California. Loma Loma Vista. Vista. Yeah. He asked, uh, do you have any, Bob, do you have any idea how long thymol would or could last in honey? Does well, it go through the caps? It does go through the cappings. It go. It's readily absorbed mm -hmm. by beeswax mm -hmm. um, very rapidly and, and quite a lot. But the good news is it dissipates pretty quick. I, I couldn't give you an exact time, but as far as how long it stays in beeswax, in a couple of weeks, it's it's really depleted quite a lot. It absorbs tr a tremendous amount right off the bat. That's why you can still smell thymol in your colony you know, after the apigard's gone, it's in the beeswax, but within a few weeks, it's kind of gone. It dissipates real quick. Most, most um, ethereal oils or essential oil type products do exactly that. At first, they're readily absorbed, but then it doesn't take long before they're gone. Now about being, staying in honey, I don't know an exact answer to that, but I use thymol every August and I get a, uh, a lab report from the USDA lab in Gastonia, North Carolina, four times a year on pesticides and miticides in my honey. And I'm required to do that at you know, the type of inspection we go through. And I've never, ever had any uh, detectable thymol in my honey. So mm -hmm. that says something. I just got one back. Uh, Gosh, I just saw it this morning. It just came back and it showed zero thymol. So I think that says something.